Hello Libra, Kate Mariah here, Master Empath, Intuitive Healer, and I'm bringing you your reading for April. I am very excited to connect with you, my sweet Libra Empath friends. Um, if you are a cosmic soul, sensitive soul, light worker, empath, way shower on your journey, whew, Lord knows it has been busy. It has been busy. Just as I'm feeling your energy, I, I already have your cards laid out. I haven't turned them over yet, but um, I just invited your energy into our session today. And just as I'm feeling your energy, Libra, man, oh man, I just feel like it's been go, 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 go. Like, my goodness. My goodness. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's been a lot of, a lot of busy stuff. A lot of busyness, busy work, things to do. But what's really interesting about your energy, Libra, is I feel like no matter how much you have going on or how many ideas you have or how many irons in the fire you've got going, you always have time for those that you care about. And it's not just the people that you care about, but it's like the purposes that you care about, like, um, or the subject matter that you care about. Like you might have your own desire for your own personal expansion. And it's like, you still, even though you've got so much going on, like you still take the time for, I'm hearing the words self-education, to educate yourself, to learn more, to understand more. I'm hearing also tool around. So you might play with new information that you get, play with new, um, you know, techniques, tactics, um, things like that. But I just feel like you're just, you're, you're implementing things and it feels a little, maybe I'm hearing experimental, but you know, piecemeal, like a little bit here, a little bit there, like, you know, whatever. I was going to use an example, but I'm seeing so many examples. So it's going to be different for every one of you. Like, you know, some of you could be practicing, um, your mediumship skills while others of you are more interested in, you know, culinary arts while others of you are more interested in, um, <laughs> technology. I'm seeing so, I'm laughing because my guides are literally showing me so many different examples. Like Libra, you guys have so many different interests <laughs> and you're connected to so many different people too. And like, there's, there's just so many different options for you. I'm laughing because I, I was just making a comment to my guides in my head saying, I don't know how Libra keeps it all uh, organized and my guys are saying you're built for it Libras you're, you're just your energy is just wired for like management and multitasking and ba balancing right like you are the scales you you just you know how to balance things and <laughs> that's cool my my guys are actually commending you that <clears throat> you actually you balance things without juggling if that makes sense um <laughs> I'm laughing because when you juggle, it's almost like, oh, no, we don't do that. Because when you juggle, that's when that's when you drop the ball, right? That's when things fall. And so it's like, that's why you prefer to balance things rather than juggle. That's really funny. So I'm going to start turning your cards over and we're going to take a look at what is going on for you in April. Oh, Libra. Wow. Libra. Dang, Libra, you, <laughs> you've been through some heavy stuff. I have so many chills. Ooh, man, I'm getting like all over, all over. Your energy is very powerful. I was going to say right now, but my guide stopped me. It's, it's just, nope, that's the end of the statement. Your energy is very powerful. It's not right now. It's all the time. Your energy is very powerful all the time. You are a very powerful person um these cards are really telling me quite the story libra wow I, I it's it's almost like i'm trying to find the words for this because this actually feels really deep and i'm almost in awe of your energy a little bit with how resilient you are because what I'm seeing here in April, what you're moving away from, we have misalignment. Miracles become normal once we face all of the aspects of our life in the same direction. So something has been out of alignment for you in your life. And I feel like it's been hidden because we have emergence here. And this is where it gets really heavy is we have the card, I'm sorry, defenseless, writing past wrongs, uprooting. This is heavy. And this is also what you're moving away from. 
you're moving away from this, this heaviness. Um, I feel, no, okay, it's tricky because I'm talking to, you know, a number of different people are gonna watch this general reading. So roles can be reversed, but there's, um, what I'm seeing here is that things have come to a head. Um, you are so fair and just in the way that you approach things. And I'll be honest with you, my the thread of this information is kind of bifurcating depending on where you fall in this story. So there's a, there's a category of some of you that were the wrongdoers and then there's a category of you that have had the wrong done to you. So either way, um, Libra, you have been through enough. Yeah, I'm hearing obviously this isn't working. Like you have been through enough frustration and heartbreak in order to recognize, you know what? This isn't working. This isn't working for anyone. And I feel that there is, um, with this I'm sorry card, there's so much heaviness <laughs> with that card. It's It's like, like I really feel like something has been destroyed, like some kind of foundation has been destroyed. Um, someone, again, it's really, it's really hard for me to put this into very concise terms because it, it, maybe I just don't need to spend a lot of time on it because you already know your story, right? You already know what you've been through, what you've lived through, um, and you already know how and why your foundation has changed because it absolutely has. It absolutely has. So I, I almost don't even want to spend a lot of time on what has happened because again, it's, I'm going in two different directions because there's different ones of you. You either, you either cause the chaos and you recognize it and you are really sorry <laughs> that you've done this. But at the same time, you recognize why you did it in the first place because you're in a situation that you weren't aligned with. Or, you know, God showed you that you're with someone or, or committed to something that um, that you're not aligned with and they completely devastated you. Like, oh, I just, you guys, it's so heavy what you have been through. It is so heavy what you have been through. But my loves, this is what you're moving away from. April is helping to create some space between you and this heaviness because especially with you, Libra, because you are, you know, you're the scales, you're balancing things out. If something is so heavy, no matter what you put on the other end, if this is so heavy, it will never be balanced. And I feel that you want to move forward in a much, much lighter way. And this is what I'm seeing for you is that you actually, you are, you are. Come April, you've got some movement. You are moving away from this heaviness so that you're able to balance things out in a way and, and I feel like you're not going to be how should I say this they're saying the final result will not come in April however there's going to be calibration in April right so you're going to be continuously balancing things and if anything this is going to feel like such a relief because you're moving away from what you have been chained to what has been um, stuck and stagnating within your experience so you do have movement you also have the hummingbirds showing up and this is such a sacred joyful energy where you are going to finally now have the opportunity of instead of being busy 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 with all the have to's and all the obligations and all the you know if i don't this then calamity happens and da, 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 da. this is actually going to bring some sweetness into your life this is going to create the space and the time that will allow you to enjoy the fruits of your labor, enjoy, I'm hearing laughter, connections, right? And enjoy engaging experience. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> my guys are funny. Like, you're just gonna have fun. You're just gonna have more fun. And it's like, there's a feeling here where I feel that through this, this joy and this fun, it's actually expanding your energy. It's expanding your aura. And by allowing you to feel this lightness, this levity, moving away from the density and the heaviness. This is allowing you to discover more within yourself because we also have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. 
And it's interesting because at first, of course, the beautiful pyramids catch your attention. But if you notice, if you bring your gaze up to the top of the card, there is a lot going on in the sky there. There's a lot happening in the cosmos. And I feel for you, Libra, that this is part of that, again, it's like a lifting energy, right? Like you're, you're being lifted in April and you're going to feel this like viscerally in your body, in your bones. You're going to feel this light, like lightness, this lifting, this, I wouldn't call it floating because it's not like a, a dreamy energy. It's this feeling of relief, being unburdened having direction, receiving clarity, new options being introduced, fun moments, joyful contacts, um, flirting. Do you know what I mean? Just like flirting. <laughs> I'm laughing because my guide's like, what's wrong with that? There's, um, there's something about your personality, Libra, that flirting for you is like a, I want to say like a joyful pastime. It doesn't really mean anything. It's like, oh, you know, so if I, you know, fluff up someone's ego a little bit, you know, oh, I made their day and that makes me happy. Like there's something about it that feels very, is casual, like, I don't think casual is the right word. Effortless, like it feels very effortless for you. And it's part of, it's part of you being a light worker, right? This is part of like, through uplifting others, you are uplifted and vice versa. Others lift you up and then you move forward and then you lift up. So it's like, it's a lightning. Like you're going through a lightning process in, in April. And I actually feel like this is what you're moving towards. It's, it's bringing you to a much more comfortable place. You like feeling lighter in comparison to where you've been, right? Like there's a comfort here. Now living in the clouds, you know, flying with the fairies full time is not your cup of tea. Like you need that balance. You need some good groundedness. Like you need to have that like incredible blast off um, Aquarian meditation, but then you need to like have an excellent grounding meal afterwards and maybe make some good love to your partner. You know what I mean? Like you need to have it all in order to feel satisfying. And I feel this for you, Libra. Like this is, this, this is, what's coming for you. <laughs> I was, usually I like to see this as like you're moving towards what you are aligning with, but there's something about this, like this is what's coming for you as well. Um, something is meeting you halfway. Something is, is meeting you there as you lighten. And okay, this is what, this is why I love what I do. I can't make this up. I keep talking about you lightening up, right? And like you being a way shower and just like this, we have, you are a powerful light worker. <laughs> It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. Libra, this is just, this, this is a feeling of like, I feel like you have been in some pretty heartbreaking situations. I would call it heart wrenching. Like, like there's something like wringing out a washcloth. Like your heart has been like wrung out and you have been dealing with this for some time that it's like you you kind of got away from your own magic like there's a feeling of you at one time might have been like really in your flow like you, you were doing your manifestation work you were feeling the magic of the universe you were in full communion and conversation at all times and like you were witnessing the results of it everywhere around you and and it just felt so good and then you you fell into this density and this heaviness and i feel that this is where i tell you libra your energy is powerful we're talking about lightening up. I literally had storage issues. I had to empty out my recently deleted folder on my phone and it was just a whole lot of pictures of my ex. <laughs> so I've had to officially let those go and delete those to make room to finish your video. And I have a feeling that's probably pretty similar to what you are having to go through. But here we go, Libra, this is you. This is you lightening up. You are a powerful light worker. You know, my moon is in Libra. So like, hey, you know, I'm talking to myself here a little bit too. Uh, you are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. And the last card that we have in order to support 
the energy here for you, Libra, is do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. It does help, but it's not enough. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. You've got this, Libra. You've got this. This, this is an absolutely beautiful reading for you but honestly it's it's this energy that you're in you're you're turning pain into wisdom you are transforming this this is the kind of energy that you know by looking at you people would never know what you are coming out of what you have been through they would never ever guess the story and the tales that you could tell but the, the story that, that you have. And I feel that April is really going to feel like a gift for you in the sense that you finally have this movement within your own life where you're, you're able to move away from what has been so, I'm hearing thorny, what has been so, so painful, what has been so, I mean, my guides are funny. They're showing me anything, anything out of alignment doesn't work, right? Like if you have a door where the door jam is off kilter, that door is not going to close shut. If you have um, anything, right? Anything that is out of alignment. If your wheels are out of alignment when you're driving, like that's going to be a really bumpy, uncomfortable ride down the road, right? Like there's, there's so much that you have been putting up with that so much of your energy that is really there for you to do your light work it's really there for you to live your purpose it's really there for you to expand but it's actually been detouring towards what's the word compensating compensating for what you've been living with that's so out of alignment so this this is a refreshing period that you're moving into this is enjoyable this is fun um i feel it, it, again, there's just something, there's just something about like f flirting. I just want to say like flirt with yourself, you know, look in the mirror and talk to yourself. Be like, girl, you looking good? Hey, how you doing? Or, you know, like you were looking well, suave. I don't know who I'm talking to. If you're a man, woman, whatever, whatever, whatever you, whatever you were feeling like talk sweet to yourself, flirt, flirt real nice, <laughs> flirt real nice with yourself. Maybe, you know, like it doesn't matter if you have a, an intention or, or an agenda or not just like having a, a jovial joyful light-hearted exchange with someone at the grocery store or at the at the mechanic or whatever like this is something that I feel you're going to start feeling the impact of your lightness and I feel like it's it's flirting keeps coming out because it's such a small touch point that will just continue to expand and expand and expand and expand and expand and expand and expand as you progress and as you bring through more light that is genuinely, and it's interesting, I'm hearing genuinely and more generally impacting those I'm hearing on the planet. On the planet. So you have some, you do, you have some work to do ahead of you for sure, but you know it. This is nothing shocking. I feel like right now it's just, it's time to focus on the sweetness, um, focus on where you can make certain moves within your life, um, continue to move away from what has not been in alignment. Um, you know, again, with this like misalignment and the I'm sorry, you could have been through, uh, and I roll my eyes as I say it, you could have been through uh, a twin flame quote unquote experience or narcissistic abuse. Um, to me, it's one and the same, it really is. Um, so this is something that you moving forward and focusing on the positivity, what feels good, what brightens your day, getting some sunshine, getting some fresh air, spending time in nature, spend time with your animals, um, you know, hang out with, you know, people who think you're good looking and they just want to, they just want to tell you how much they love you. Like just the things that feel good, right? Just things that feel good, things that feel good to your soul and just feel appreciated because this is healing you and it's helping you and it's moving you forward. Look at this Libra, it's moving you forward. So with that, my friends, I am sending you so much love. If you wanna look at your particular situation, please come check me out on my website, katemariah.com, click on shop. I have a whole host of readings there available. We could talk about your money, we could talk about your love life, we could talk about your spiritual awakening, whatever feels good. And 
I'm going to leave it there. I will see you, my sweet Libra friends, in the next video. So much love. Bye.